Words. Whosoever, when you look up that word, whosoever, collectively. That's what that word means, collectively. Okay? Now, he went from he went from talking about Moses and the children of Israel to whosoever, right? So he's still dealing with the children of Israel because he mentioned them when it goes back to number 21. Okay? Go ahead. But have eternal life. But have eternal life. Go ahead. For God so loved the world. Now, since we read in the beginning of the New Testament how it was translated, what is the word world in Greek? I, I give you, I give you, I throw three out there. You got oiklement, you got eon, and you got cosmos. Which one there? Tell me. Take a wild guess. A uh, wild guess, eon. No. Okay. The word there, the word eon, okay, when you look up the word eon in the Greek, okay, it's dealing with an age, a period of time. Right? Yeah. You got oiklamin, which means the whole world. And you got cosmos, which deals with an orderly arrangement or agreement. Okay? The word that's there is cosmos. Now, like I said, you got oiklamin, which is talking about the whole world. You got eon, which is dealing with a period of period of time, age, and you got cosmos. Okay? Which is which is an arrangement or, or, or agreement? Okay, that's what the word cosmos or orderly arrangement or agreement. That's what it's dealing with. And the word there is cosmos. So read it again. Huh? This is uh, John chapter three verse sixteen. For God so loveth the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whomsoever believeth in him should not perish. So whomsoever believeth in him shall not perish. Now, why did he mention, if he was talking about everybody, why did he mention about Moses in the wilderness in the, in the, uh, in the 14th verse to Nicodemus, if he was talking about everybody, the whole world, everybody? That was a comparative story by seeing and believing and choosing to believe. Those in the desert who chose to believe and looked up on the serpent were saved. Now, who, 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 who like, like we established, like we established. The one that believed was Israelite. Yeah, but that's also implying that there are some back then that didn't believe, that didn't look up on the serpent. Those are the ones that weren't saved. So it's referencing that story to nowadays, but encompassing the world as whosoever. So there are people today that don't believe and don't want to look. Those people won't be saved. But everyone that trusts and believes in the message of Jesus Christ, those people will be saved. Now, I can tell, I can tell that I'm going to continue to read. Go ahead. I'm going to show you something. Go ahead. All right. Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Forever. Have everlasting life. Now, when you deal with that word everlasting, that's eon right there. Forever, forever, on a period of time, forever, ever. Now, when you go into the Hebrew, okay, uh, that word, word, uh, John 3, 16, that's I will um. Give me Isaiah 45 and... Uh, and 17. Now let's see what this say. Now this we're going into the Hebrew now. Let's see. Let's hold on, hold on, slow down, slow down. I'm gonna let you get it out. I'm gonna let you get it out. Slow down. Slow down. No, I'm just saying after this one I gotta I gotta take off. But right, this is uh, Isaiah like this. chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved. In the, in the Lord with an everlasting salvation, ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. World without end. Now, if you go into the Hebrew, or that, that's Iwalum, which means an age. Okay? Now, if you go into the Hebrew in the New Testament, that word there, world, is an age. So, what I did was link that up with that and with the New Testament, and it proves that we're still dealing with Israel. Okay? The 12 tribes of Israel. They're not dealing with everybody. See, that's the problem with so-called Christians in America. They don't look up words, nor do they understand the scripture. Now, you got Acts 5 and 30. Give me Acts 5 and 30. You got another one. But, uh, but like you said, you got to go 
So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you this last one. Okay. But, and I want to ask one more time. I need, if you don't want a picture, if you, can I take a picture of uh, what you got going on? Nah, nah. Okay, okay, I respect that. But, uh, but this is the thing, though. You don't know your nationality. Do you believe in what we're saying? That it's only for Israel? To an extent. To an extent? Nah, you got to believe. Hold it. Hold it to the fullest. Okay? You know what color the Lord is according to the Bible? Doesn't matter to me. It's what his okay. Give me, matters. Acts 5, give me Acts 5 and 29. Start driving. This is uh, Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Read it verbatim. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. We ought to obey God rather than men. So he's dealing with his word. Okay, go ahead. Verse 30. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew, who, whom ye slew and hung on the tree. That's the same thing that Moses, that he was talking about in John 3, 16, right? I mean, John 3 and uh, 14, that he was talking about in the wilderness. And Numbers 21 and 5 on down. Yeah, That's the same thing. Relatable prophecy. Go ahead. Him had God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. What? To a, be a prince and a savior. Let's see. For to, for to give repentance to Israel. Wait a minute. It said repentance to Israel. And it dealing with savior and repentance to Israel. Why is not all humanity in now this is Peter. That was a head 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 of uh, uh, disciple. So you mean to tell me Peter going off? Stop listening. So shall we listen to man or the word of the heavenly father? Heavenly father. So the Bible don't lie, men lie. So who the world in the call Jesus? Who the world in the call Jesus uh, was sacrificed for the twelve tribes of Israel. And that's it. That's why he said, that's why he said what he said in Matthew 15 and 24. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Well, thank you, sir. I'm glad I stopped and I talked. Yeah, I don't shake hands. Okay, okay. Hands. that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, but you need to search out Esau, Edomites. You ever heard of that? Yeah. That's your, that's your lineage, Esau, Edom. Oh, you that's gave you me go some back stuff to. to think about and look up. Thank you, sir. All right, go back to, uh, go back to, uh, yeah, Revelation 7 and 4. All right, this is uh, Revelation chapter 7, verse 4. See, this is the thing, man. This is the thing. You younger brothers that's coming to this truth, man, like I, I, I mention it, I don't mention it all the time, but I mention it sometimes. You like, like, like I was explaining to you, you know about the Matrix, when Neo was fighting them, fighting them agents, right? And when he was walking, he seen a cat, right? And, and, and in the in the matrix, he seen that cat go across. And they said, what is, uh, he said, I seen the cat go across. And that was deja vu, right? They were saying that was deja vu. But in the fighting scene, when he got to fighting them agents, Neo did a move and the agent was able to uh, uh, not get hit by it. And Neo looked at him and said, upgrade. Okay? But he kept on fighting him and beating him, and you know what I'm saying? Taking him down. But this is the way we look at you so-called Christians when you come by us. When you bring out John 3.16, we saying, oh, he ain't upgraded yet. Okay? He ain't upgraded yet. Now you might, now you might go into the you might go into the Old Testament. You might go into the New Testament. You might throw some things out there that we generally don't hear a so-called Christian say. But when you come up on us and you bring out John 3 16, it's like, oh, he upgraded. You know, the age of the upgrade. But I just did that. I just did that to him. You know what I'm saying? Just to see where he was going to go. He, he might have went to, what about the Gentiles? Okay? He might have went to... Uh, well, what about the Great Commission? You know what I'm saying? He might have went there, which I was preparing for that. But what's the greatest commandment? You know what I'm saying? Like they always bring, were pursuing the uh, Matthew 22 and 37. They always, you know, they, they, what's the greatest commandment? Love thy neighbor and fear the most high with all your heart. You know, they, they hang all these on one. 
you know, they, they might bring that out. But see, we know that you agents slash AKA demons, right? Are not set up to defeat the Heavenly Father and His Son. Your time is falling, man. Okay? Your time of rulership is over with, man. You're not set up to defeat Yahweh Bashanel Shot. And when I say defeat Yahweh Bashanel Shot, you cannot beat these words, man. The back, the Bible is accurate and it's true and men lie. And we coming to find out, we came to find out that as he was speaking, he mentioned John 3.16 and he was caught up in his life. You know what I'm saying? Now I could have easily cussed him out. So you going to slavery, you you a devil, you just nah, but I want to. Hey, you give out, you, you got an opportunity to shoot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got an opportunity to shoot. You know what I'm saying? But be back in Revelation, right? Alright, uh, this is a uh, Revelation chapter 7, verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand. Yeah, that's not Israel that like the sand in the sea. So here it is. The most high in his son is separating the elect from the multitude. He said a hundred and forty-four thousand, man. Okay? So Israel, right? Is the sand of the sea, but the most high pulling certain Israelites out of that, out of that multitude, man, right? out of that Broadway. Okay, he pulling, he pulling, he pulling uh, uh, the elect of Israel out. Okay, go ahead. Of all the tribes, like I said, man, Jake, uh, Jake, Jake is taking uh, uh, Esau women, man. You, Esau gonna have to do something, man. He gonna have to do something, man. Esau, Esau. He's a, he's a jealous man, man. He's going to have to do something, man. Okay? Jake, Jake is, man, Jake is grabbing hold of Esau, Esau woman, man. And Esau not going to be able to do nothing unless he come down on Jake with violence, man. Because the, 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 the Edomite woman, man, she's being taken, man. She's being taken. Once she get a hold of Jake, you know, she's dealing with Edomite. Once she get a hold of Jake, she done, man. She don't want no parts of Esau no more, man. You know, but that just go that just go to show you uh if Jake was in his order, in his proper order, in his rulership, oh man, Esau, Esau won't have no women, man. But go ahead. Hey, Jake, Jake getting Esau ooh, women. Hey, let me tell you something, man. Jake getting Esau women with all this propaganda out there, like Jake don't wanna work. Jake is a gangster, he's violent, he you know, he's destructive. He, he, he confused, he, 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 he leave his kids, he sells drugs, and Jake still getting Esau women. So you can just imagine if all that was taken away and that vibration wasn't put on Jake, man, Esau be done, man. He won't have no woman, man. He'll be done, man, okay? Which I gotta throw this out there, he don't like women, he like boys anyway, but I'm just saying, go ahead. Of all the tribes of the children of Israel. For all the tribes of the children of Israel. Okay? Now here it is. He's finna run this down. Okay? Now the reason why the reason why I'm going into this because of that few. Okay? Because we read in uh, uh, Matthew about the few, right? That's why I'm going into this. Because out of that multitude, it's only gonna be a few that that find it. Okay, they find that, that narrow path in a straight gate to life. Okay, go ahead. Verse five, of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. They had the name of the heavenly father and his son in their foreheads, man. They heard the gospel and they believed, man. And therefore they were sealed because they knew it was true, okay? They're like that Edomite was up here. I said, do you believe in the Bible? He said, what did he say? Like, to some extent. To some extent. Nah. They're not for you. Okay? And then I asked him, what color the Lord according to the Bible? He's like, it don't matter. They're not for you. And everybody. 
So that revealed to me that it was Edomite. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000, right? Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephali, Neptali. Neptali were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manassas were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000. What verse you at? Verse 7. Okay. Of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Now, Joseph, Joseph is interchangeable with, uh, with Ephraim, okay? They tell you that in the book, of matter of fact, they tell you in the book of uh, Numbers, I'll tell you where it's at. I ain't gonna read it, but I'll tell you where it's at. This uh, Numbers uh, 1 in, uh, one in 32. That's where, where Joseph is interchangeable with Ephraim. Numbers 1 in 32. Okay. You don't see Ephraim there, but you see Joseph there. Okay. So Ephraim is supposed to be where Joseph is. It's interchangeable. Ephraim and Joseph are interchangeable. Okay. Go ahead. Of the tribe of Benjamin were, were sealed 12,000. Okay. Yeah. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number. Oh, it said a great multitude. Now, those, 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 those uh, 12,000, those were leaders of Israel, okay? Those were leaders of Israel, okay? And that multitude is dealing with the, the family members, okay? The helpers, okay? The ones that believe on the children that believe that 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 set up to be saved and believe on Yahweh Bash and Okay? That's what that multitude is dealing with. Okay? Go ahead. Which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and people. Now that would seem like that Edomite was saying, uh, all humanity. Nah, that ain't dealing with that because you gotta remember what happened to Israel as a people. They broke the commandment, they went into slavery, and wherever they went into slavery at, that's the language that they're speaking up under them nations. So Israel is scattered abroad everywhere. So give me James 1 and 1. I didn't love numbers. I'm in, I'm going to James 1 and 1 now. This is uh, James chapter 1, verse 1. James, a servant of the Most High and of and of the Lord, Yahweh Amashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. So the 12 tribes are scattered abroad. So go back over to uh, Revelation and read about the multitude. This is uh, Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues. Why? It's because Israel was scattered everywhere, okay? And they're going to look like the other nations, okay? They're going to look like them, okay? Israel is the sand of the sea, but the Most High is grabbing a few, a remnant, the elect, out of wherever they scattered, okay? So that's what they're dealing with, okay? Now, I got 2 Maccabees 1 in... Uh, 1 and 27. Gather those together that are scattered from us. Deliver them that serve among the heathens. So is Israel scattered among the heathen? Yeah. Is the Most High going to deliver the ones that believe in him that scattered among the heathens? 
Yes. He said, this second Maccabees 1 and 27. Gather those, gather those together that are scattered from us. Deliver them that serve among the heathen. Look upon them that are despised and abhorred. And let the heathen know that thou art our power. Okay? Read that again by the multitude. This is uh, Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne. So what, what is that talking about? That's talking about the Israelites, okay? And that's it. That ain't talking about all humanity like that Edomite was saying over there, okay? Right. All humanity. Uh, demon. Agent. Yeah, yeah. Agent. Yeah, that was a demon, man. You know, that was a demon. But I'm trying to grab something else over here, too. Demon. Hold on, hold on, what you got, huh? I got another one loaded. I'm trying to remember where it's at. No, we're not no Muslims. We're not no Muslims. We're not no Muslims. We're not no Muslims. Devil. Let them go on, uh, uh, bun. Uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta ignore. You got see, he in the Broadway. See, see the most I always bring edification, man. See, he's he's in the Broadway that leads into destruction, man. Okay, he he don't know what's going on, man. Okay, he don't know. This uh Tobit, this the book of Tobit in the Apocrypha, right? This uh one, I mean Tobit thirteen and uh. Uh, 13 and 3. Confess him before the Gentiles.